Welcome to the Frugal Studio. For you watercolor painters, here is a no-hassle, inexpensive system for stretching 140-pound watercolor paper you can make for yourself. Watercolor paper stretching has been such a no-fun problem for me that I will often choose another medium to produce my painting images. I have tried using brown gum paper tape and also stapling the paper under two strips of, of illustration board over the edge of, of the backing board, all with unpredictable and sometimes dismal results. A recent project requiring a watercolor approach sent me out in search of some of the cursed brown gum paper tape. I even get paper cuts from it. The paper tape was not easily found which sent me to thinking is there another and better way to stretch paper. I had recently replaced some window screen. The window screen stretching system uses a double-ended wheeled tool, the tool readily available from a hardware store for under ten dollars. One end of the tool, which is convex, is used to push the screen into the slot on the aluminum frame. The other end of the tool, which is concave, is used to push a 3 16th of an inch or 4 millimeter rubber spline into the slot on top of the screen. This seemed like a fast, slick system for using materials readily available from a building supply store that I could use to stretch watercolor paper. The system requires little skill to achieve excellent results. I got a piece of half inch plywood which I cut two inches larger all around than a half sheet of watercolor paper. On each of the four sides I cut a 3 16th of an inch deep slot in, in it using a table saw with a 1 8th of an inch thick saw blade. Most table saw blades are already an eighth of an inch thick. I cut the slots to form a rectangle one inch smaller in length and width than the half sheet of watercolor paper. A half sheet of watercolor paper is 15 by 22 inches or 56 centimeters by 28 centimeters. If you are using unfinished plywood, it would be a good idea to seal the surface with a clear acrylic varnish. This will make it waterproof and will allow the paper to dry faster. Being frugal, I used a rescued kitchen cabinet door that was already sealed with white paint. I used the following method to stretch 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. First I wet the paper and place it on the plywood overlapping the saw cuts one inch on all of the sides. I carefully rolled the wet paper into the saw cut on each of the sides using a convex wheel of the tool. The spline was then rolled into the groove of the paper using the concave edge of the wheel. As I rolled the spline into the paper groove, I pulled on the spline to stretch it in it. The procedure took no more than three or four minutes to complete. The paper dried quickly without pulling or tearing. Best of all, when I was finished the artwork, removing the paper was a breeze. I just pulled out the spline and trimmed the edges of the paper. The mounting board required no cleanup and the spline material was reusable. And incidentally, I'm still using the same spline today. Since made several stretching boards for the 140 pound half full and quarter sheets of watercolor paper. I have made use of stretch watercolor paper a lot more in my work because of the system. Many thanks for watching. There are many more Frugal Studio projects coming. Subscribe to my channel and be notified of the informative and enjoyable up Frugal Studio projects. Take a minute and leave a thumbs up or a comment. If you have any ideas you'd like to share, send them to me and I would enjoy hearing from you. Have a great day and keep on painting.